Okay, castration of a Ridgeling. Uh, everything went very smoothly. Um, huge variation in the size of the testicles. Left testicle was retained. We castrated that one first, injected about 20 mLs of uh, Epivacaine into it to kind of plump it up, make it a little easier to get it, to find it, and, uh, but with the Colt in um, um, dorsal recumbency, it was easy to get the testicle up and back into the screw. Oh he, hopefully he'll sit up for a little bit on his chest. <laughs> he knows he's not ready. Right, just don't forget, just let him kind of have his head when he gets up. He needs that for balance. And... Yeah, was bleeding. Yep. Yeah, not much bleeding under there. It's good. The longer he takes, the better off we all are. That's good. Yeah, just kind of let him go where he wants and getting him back. I give you a hand. Let's just see how see how much blood we got. Oh yeah, bloodless procedure. Perfect. No bumps. No scrapes. How you feeling, lad? You falling on me? <laughs> no. <laughs> he goes to fall and you just get out of the way. Yeah, you don't believe it. Ain't got his shit together yet. He's mm -hmm. like a new boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> get the shit together, boy. Uh, every minute that goes by, more and more of that uh, anesthetic is going out of his system. So, no rush. Uh, we got through everything. Got through all the fewer and fewer things can go wrong at this point. We just got to get him safely back in the stall. He's good. He really didn't get that wet, really. Mm -hmm. See the other side. The other side did. Yeah, that's the side he was laying on mostly. <laughs> that's all right. Once we get him back, let's put a put a you know a heavy on him. Oh, he had a bad day. All right, let's go do something.